How's everybody doing? Today is a protein sparing modified fast day and we're keeping it clean, healthy, and simple. So come on you guys, let's get this day started. How are you guys doing? We're talking to all our people. We're talking to the Loving It on Keto family. I was just outside, sitting in the sun. Oh yeah, well, did it feel good? Felt great, now I wanna go lay down cause I'm tired. Okay, go get up in your bed. Go on, go get up on the couch. Bye. Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. It is beautiful, sunny in the 70s today. Yes, it is. You guys, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be hot this year. It's not even March yet, and it is. What are you looking at? Your boots are all decked out. Yes, because we have an appointment. I've got my Galactic Buckaroos from uh, El Gringo. These were a dream pair of boots. I love them because they've got spaceships. Because it's like a galactic boot, right? All right. Cowboy galactic. So these are galactic buckaroo. And they're amazing handmade boots with the bling bling and everything else. They go with my space cowboy jacket. And the double D ranch made. But anyway, you guys, we have some appointments today. You know... I was so busy dealing with my mom, and I love my mom, and I miss my mom, dealing with everything, and then her estate, when we were moving her into a facility and all of that, and then afterwards, you know, dealing with settling her estate, and then Harry's uncle, uh, Joe, passing about the same time, and dealing with all of that, and now both of those are settled. So what Harry and I need to do is we need to go talk to an estate planner and get our very simple will updated and changed out, because we did that, oh man, 15 years ago? We did a quick will when we went on the Alaskan cruise. So whenever that was, we were in Washington State, so it was, a, yeah, I would say about 15 years ago. Anyway, we need to do that, so we've got that appointment today. We need to go to the bank and talk to a person there. Um, so we've got a lot of running around to do, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna wear my new boots. I'm gonna dress Southwest because of the wonderful weather and just enjoy the day. Today is a protein sparing modified fast day. Yes, it is. Make protein your priority. Eat and track 20 grams or less of fat, 10 grams or less of carbs. Eat six to 700 calories total today. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna show everybody my beautiful nails. I did another ombre. I don't know, can you see them, Harry, maybe over yeah. here? Like that, mm, no. somehow. That's mm. fine, right there, there you go. Mm -hmm. So the base is honey, the middle is peach, and then the ends are gold with my cystico. Now, two days prior, I got some dark colors, some kind of purple raven twilight, and I painted each nail a, kind of a different color and had those on for a couple days to decide what color I liked, and I decided to take that off and do something sunshine. Sunshine and beautiful, so I'm very excited about this. I'm learning, I'm learning. So, anyway, you guys, How's everybody doing today? How are you guys doing weather-wise there? What I'm thinking of is I have a friend that lives in South Carolina, no, North Carolina. And we're gonna meet up in Raleigh, like at a Starbucks or something, on our way to um, Arlington, Virginia. We can't do a huge meetup and stuff that day because we're, it's a long time to get there. We have to be there a certain date, check in, etc. Now, after that, we're going to go through to Illinois, Belvedere, Illinois, to be specific. Uh, Kim is working on finding, she's got some barbecue places that are close to her. And then I'm trying to think of a way to come home where maybe we can have another meetup on the way home that's central to everybody. And I know it's bad timing because a lot of people are going to hack your health 
and they're just going to be coming home. They maybe can't travel, you know, to two different places and stuff. But I'm, I'm trying to do the best we can based on the June 5th funeral date we have to, we're checking into our hotel on june 3rd we want to rest because we will have been driving i want to rest harry's back for sure on the 4th because we have to be at arlington cemetery at 8 15 a.m in the admin building we have to sign some paperwork get everything settled for the nine o'clock uh, funeral that's going to be there so those three days are captured. You know, depending on when we leave, we're trying to drive no more than eight hours because of Harry's back. You know, um, the doctor needs him to stop. He says, you need to stop, get out, walk around. It was a very hard trip to go to Lori's with his back, but his back was right in the middle of the heavy inflammation. It's not bad now. Thank heavens he hasn't had to see a chiropractor or been stretched on the DXR 9000. But we're going to take like the uh, far infrared, uh, the UTK heating pad with us. We're going to take um, infrared light and everything for him and an ice pack. We're, we have our bodega and we're going to plug it in in the back so that he can rotate and do those things and we'll he and i will rotate our driving too so we have to think about all of that because it's a 2300 mile drive from our home to arlington virginia and since north carolina is about a four hour drive you know we're gonna we want to also go to nashville tennessee we want to at least do the main street Paula and I went to the PhD summit with uh, Dr. Ken Berry and we took uh, one day and we did a bunch of stuff and we went down there and I thought Harry needs to see this place. It's crazy at night. So we're going to stay probably in Nashville, Tennessee at night. I got to I got to do logistics, do the boardwalk, let him have a good night's sleep, then hit uh, South Carolina. I mean, excuse me, I keep saying South Carolina. It's North Carolina. Raleigh's in North Carolina, Wendy. Raleigh's in North Carolina. Stop there for a few hours. Um, I potentially want to interview this person too. So I'm really excited about doing all of this. And like I said, logistically, we have the only day we have to be someplace exact is June 5th, 815 AM. Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. So other than that, we're going to try to figure all of the logistics and stuff out. And so what we're going to do is depending on how far we drive that day, we will in the morning look for another place to stay and go from there, you know. So hopefully it works out and we're taking Jane. So uh, we'll be packing her up and getting her ready to go. So I'm very excited about that. In March, we're going to go see Harry's brother and sister-in-law, all of those relatives down in so, so Southern California, Long Beach area. And then we're going to drive up to Anderson, Redding, California to see our grandkids and our son and his girlfriend. So we're really excited about that because one of our grandbabies was born during COVID, the lockdown. So we have not seen little Nova yet at all so we're anxious to see her haven't seen Haley since she spent what six weeks here mm -hmm. she spent a little bit of a summer with us um now it's been a couple years ago three four time flies when you're having fun cassia and uh then we'll come home hopefully a different way since we're bringing jane but it depends on snow and weather and all those things because the high sierras are high there's snow but it'd be fun to go through reno and uh, tahoe and that area but if not we'll just hit it and come across maybe hit las vegas on the way home not sure not sure how we're going to do that one either so got two trips coming up that we've got a get logistics for right Harry yep. I'd like to go to California see his um, brother and then just do a one day Disney I don't know I will see. Disney's making me very upset with yeah. the things they're doing but yeah. so is a lot of stuff and it's sad it's sad I think Walt Disney is rolling over in his grave right now from some of the stuff that's happening anyway sorry off the soap pedestal don't want to get demonetized yes indeed Google's got some more strict even more strict rules and regulations. And by the way, 
they are unsubscribing people like crazy. They're going through and scrubbing stuff very regularly. One of my commenters said that the, she is getting unsubscribed on a regular basis from us, so she has to keep subscribing. If you could please check today. Make sure, just go up if you're on a TV, use your arrow up, go over, make sure you're subscribed. If you're on your phone, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you ring the little bell. We're gonna notify people when we have a video to upload. Because we're gonna be traveling, we may or may not be able to upload depending on where we are staying and all of the logistics there too. And it depends on how Harry's feeling. So we want to make sure all of our regular folks have access and I always, I, tr I will try to post in the community tab when we're traveling, whether there will be a video or not, um, so that you guys know, because a lot of you guys are a couple hours ahead and you guys are early risers and you're looking for us. So I wanted to share that information with everybody today. We, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I made my, Ninja Creamy, this one is pumpkin, spice, caramel, and this one is chocolate toffee. And I'm very, very excited. Now here's the deal. The chocolate toffee, if you're just having ice cream and it's a protein sparing modified fast day, you do not have to put in any fats in order to utilize it. Now, the vitamins and minerals, you get one third your daily vitamins and minerals in it if you have at least 10 to 12 grams of fat in it. But if you're just wanting ice cream and you're using it as, as a fast or a tool, protein sparing, modified fast day, you don't have to put fat, um, fat in it. If you're eating it right after a meal, there's probably some fat in the meal that will pick up on that. Now, I have not tasted it, don't know how it works. We, we watched all the videos, we tried it with water. <laughs> we did a water demonstration, it didn't splash, it worked perfect, so tonight, Tonight we get to have our first creamy Ninja Creamy. It looks too easy and I'm very excited about it. So we'll share that too. And then I've got just a super simple, super easy meal that we're gonna have later today um, as well. If we go anywhere or do anything, we'll share that, but I've got some business to take care of today. So anyway, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment.